one of the things that engineering school did a terrible job preparing you on is that in the real world, most projects are brownfield projects that you work on. They're not greenfield projects. Ideally in school, you get to pick the project you work on. You start from scratch. You get to make all the design decisions you want. You make the architecture as simple and exactly the way that you want. You write the software from scratch. Everything starts from scratch. Life is great. You get to pick everything the way you want it to be. Everything gets to fit the way you want it. You can adjust all the starting parameters to be exactly how you dream them to be and imagine them to be. Does this happen in the real world most of the time? <clears throat> it doesn't. In the real world, most projects, 90% of what you're gonna work on as an engineer are brownfield projects. That means that 90% of what you work on, you are continuing work that somebody else worked on and left off. And a lot of times the people who started that project have moved on to other positions, other companies. They've already made a lot of design decisions that constrain you in ways you cannot unconstrain yourself in. They've already written code and written requirements. Things have become so tangled up and maybe that project started 10 years ago, 15 years ago. There have been 20 people who've worked on it over that time who've layered their own pieces on top of it, made their own adjustments, made new design decisions, made decisions that didn't make any sense or that weren't the right decisions. And now you're left with this giant pile of spaghetti that you're supposed to now add to and fix and improve. So I know the nature of school has to be like this. And most of the time, you know, you don't have a project that lasts long enough to hand off to other classes and continue. But keep that in mind. In the real world, you aren't going to get to pick everything from scratch. And often it can be frustrating to come in and realize that you are working on something based on how good the people were before you. So that's also a reminder that when you work on something, try to always remember that many people in the future are going to work on this thing after you. Make it as easy and as painless and as simple for them as you can so that you set them up to be in a good position to succeed 5, 10, 15 years from after when you start the project.